Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. Today we're back out at my stepfather's place. I'm uh, going to work on the trailer a little bit. I'm uh, going to give you guys all the measurements too, but if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, help us out. Uh, give us a like and leave your comments down below. Um, we're going to give all the measurements to the trailer today. I'm uh, going to take the tub off. I've got some uh, cutting and welding to do on there uh, to get started. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to get done today, but I do know that we want to uh, start taking the trailer out. So I need to get the trailer hitch all, all connected and uh, we'll see where we get to. We're going to get the shop a little bit reorganized here. I uh, got the welder put away and all that stuff. So let's get to it. So the tongue is six foot six. It's got a quarter inch cap on the end of it. It could be one eight. All my end caps could be one eight. So this is six foot six. The long side. Is eight and a half for this side and this side. These are 16 inches. The middle piece is a foot. This is 11. The beam is 24, 24 inches. They have half inch. Uh, the walking suspension is made out of a half inch plate. The outside one is eight inches. The inside is five. Both of those are on this are, are the same. Uh, the um, bushings are just pipe, and they are two and a half inches. Uh, it's welded back in about an inch and a quarter from the end of the uh, square two by three. Uh, all the material is two by three by three sixteenths. Uh, the back bars are seven inches. So I've got four of those. The walking suspension is thirty inches. The mounts for the spindles are four inches. So I've got four blocks, uh, four inches long, and they're uh, made out of two by three. Um, the tub is 24 inches. Now I would have made my tub just a little bit different. Uh, I probably would have put the uh, these beams on the outside, but what I should have done is I should have got the, the tub made and then built the structure around it. Uh, I didn't do that, so that's why we're making some adjustments to make it fit correctly. Um, so I would have made this top one. This one here is 24 inches, but I would have made it 20 inches. Um, so this one would be 20, this one would be um, 18. No, it would be 16, 16, 20. Uh, and then these pieces here would have been on, or these guys here would have been on the outside. Uh, they would have welded on the outside of this and uh, give my basket some support on here. But that was uh, my mistake learning process here as well. Let's uh, give you some measurements on the, the basket. So these angles are 60 degrees or 120 degrees, however you wanna look at it. The overall length is five feet. So 
60 inches. Um, on the outside here is five inches. So I've got six at five inches. I should have made them seven inches. Um, this one is 10 and a quarter. And those are, everything is, is uh, 60 or 180 degrees, whatever way you want to look at it. Uh, so that is long side, five and a quarter, 10 and a half, and 11. And those are all the same. I'll leave all the links uh, down below for the wheels and spindles. Uh, I got them from a place in Ontario, Canada. I'm uh, not sure if that'll be much help to you, uh, but I'll show you those links down below. Um, the spindles are high speed spindles. Uh, and I got them from Princess Auto uh, here in, in Ontario, Canada. Uh, I'll leave those links down below with the, uh, sometimes they go on sale for half price, so uh, not terrible. Uh, that should be enough information to get you guys going on building your own trailer. I'm using a uh, two inch ball on the front that I've got to attach yet, but I just wanted to create this video so you guys had all the measurements as to what I've got now and uh, you guys can get on your way. All right guys, until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Living the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.